What is going on? We are out here at Lake of the Pines and we're going to try to fish these rocks. They've been real hot here lately. We're going to see if we can uh, catch a bunch of eater sized sound cats like we do. Uh, fishing weightless. I'm probably going to start out at about four or five feet. It's very warm today. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, we're about to throw out our range cubes and uh, let them start soaking, breaking down. I guess they kind of fall into the rocks and it seems like they want to stay in that area and keep searching for it and eventually they find your bait y'all stay tuned the trick is with the range cues they normally try to keep them within four or five foot from the bank almost no matter what the depth is in your area four or five foot off the bank seems to be the key unless you're in very very shallow or fishing on a flat that seems to work very well for us Overfeeding is a problem. You try to limit yourself to five or six good handfuls. And then wait and see how they're going to react. Because if they're slow, you can burn yourself out. Two days fishing. Alright, so somebody asked me how I set up my rigs. I like these stand up floats. If you're sitting on bottom with no weight, they just sit completely flat and they take a glow stick in the end here lately it's been must add hooks these treble hooks are size six and they've been fairly cheap lately at bass pro shop for a big pack whenever you're fishing these rocks kind of got to chalk it up losing a few of them at least every trip because you're trying to get as close as you can to those rocks I like any kind of rod that is going to pick up a lot of slack whenever I set the hook because sometimes I'm running multiples and I don't know if you see but it gets kind of busy but one rod can be hot for a while the other one will kind of drift over into another fish if you're not paying attention you'll lose a lot of them without having some good gear ratios and I think this is a 7.4 Lately, the loose spinning reels have been a favorite. Uh, never really gave them a chance until lately. This rod I've actually got set from last time. Whenever, you know, as the day goes on, they get a little bit deeper. So every time that I show back up and it's cooler or getting cooler, I gotta adjust hooks. But I always try to throw it at least a few times and give it a trial, even though the range cubes are gonna take time to start taking effect. It normally takes, it seems like, 30 minutes each time just for them to start getting in the area. It's hard to say if the fish are already in the area or if they're just kind of out scanning and they find a bunch of bait and they stay in that area. Oh, there's the first one. I can almost bet you it's going to have a big old belly on it pretty fat gut for a little fish. I think I'm gonna let them get a little bigger. So they are shallower than what I expected. When it starts cooling off, the rocks hold a lot of heat, so they, seems like they, they glue to them real soon and they start pulling back off of them again. But uh, they don't start pulling back off of them until the sun comes back out. Seems This is a very clumsy rod. Pretty good. I'll click him. Another the quicker go. Hope I didn't throw that one in too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right.
this, but priorities. I'm not re rigging right now. Ooh, you feisty too? You are another good one. We're also doing a giveaway on the page if you would uh, check that out. And if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please like and subscribe. It would help out a bunch. The weightless seems to be a, a big difference uh, between how we were fishing it last year seems like they pick it up on the fall very often most of the time you don't get that with a weight and whenever you're fishing in rocks and you're weightless it kind of floats down and sets on top of a rock rather than the weight pushing itself down trying to go almost as soon as it hits they start hitting it and actually they did hit it as soon as it hit one of them would sink well, the guy picked it up fast normally the big ones run with it as soon as they get it Well, it seems like numbers are not a problem for this spot right now, so it hit a spot where it was really, really good, and it kind of slowed back down, but the fish aren't seeming to be as full whenever I catch them, so I'm going to add a little bit more range cubes, and uh, see if I can get them to fatten up and stay in the area. After this, after this fish right here, yeah, that's not... Not generally what you catch when you chum them. Oh, I feel like I did that with my mind. But I just gotta at least make it till I get to the house. Key to getting hooks out. Just try to turn that hook around. Get it out. You pick it up again, I'm going back.
start on one card. So that was the first. when the camera catches. I knew it would get better if I just held it there. That'll be the last one for us. Thank y'all for tuning in.